Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends. I'm at the Morningstar Invest Conference in Chicago with Joanne Hill, Chief Investment Strategist of ProShares. Hi, Hi, Joanne, thanks for coming. Appreciate you being with us. Great to be here. Listen, ProShares has done a great job with liquid alternative strategies, ETF specifically, uh, in a couple minutes. Give us some ideas as advisors are positioning client portfolios for the end of the year and into 2013. What, what are some suggestions that you might have? Sure, Tom. Well, if you know, if you look at alternatives, basically the the primary functions people use them are to you know they're sensitive to returns relative to risk, looking for absolute return strategies without benchmarks. They're looking to manage risk or manage volatility, sort of find some ways to diversify beyond the conventional toolkit. Right. And so in ETFs, there's there's quite a few uh, categories. They're you know sort of asset class categories of alternatives like volatility or inflation. There's ETFs on break-even inflation. And then there's also advanced investment strategies that are packaged in ETFs, long short type strategies. And so I think, you know, I probably highlight the one I like the best, which is basically hedge fund beta. So hedge fund replication. Believe it or not, you can take a broad uh, uh, index of hedge fund performance like HFRI and you can come pretty close to the returns of that broad index with uh, with market factors, with very tradable market factors that are transparent. That and you've got an ETF, ETF that represents that right, index, right. okay? So, uh, so there's a couple out there. Ours is based on the Merrill Lynch factor model, uh, which is has been around since 2006. And so there's uh, an exchange version of that that just has six market factors, equities, bonds, euro dollars, and the weights change every month based on what's going on in the hedge fund industry. And so our ETF is just, HDG is looking to track that benchmark. And it's kind of, you know, you might think it's the the passive version of hedge funds, but it actually, like I said, there's turnover of 10 to 20% each month in these factors, right? right? And it keeps up. Right now, hedge funds have been struggling all year. Yeah, they, sure. You know, equities have Trying been to going find crazy. their way, right? I think, but I think it's a good opportunity to buy in to the hedge fund community through this vehicle, because it, you know, in the future, you know, they're going they're going to figure out you know how to deliver those returns they've historically been so good at. This move in equities has caught them off guard a little right, bit, right? right. Yeah. And it. it probabilities are, you know, it, it may have some challenges down the road. Right. And in the meantime, areas like, you know, commodities, currencies. Right, right. Uh, have, yeah, I mean, relative value, in. yeah, all of those, are, you know, they're going to begin, you know, hitting on all cylinders again. Yeah. This has been a mega cap equity market, but that's not going to last, you know. Right. So forever. on your website, you've got all the information. So. Uh, advisors can look under the hood and find out currently what's in the portfolio. Right, right. what's in the portfolio, and, you know, and it uses a little bit of leverage and shorting, yeah. and it's a couple equi- broad equity indexes like S&P 500, emerging markets, and, and currencies. Great, great. Well, I appreciate your time, Joanne. Great. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. This is Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends with Joanne Hill, chief equity strategist at ProShares. Thank you.